Yeah, that's no problem. Fence, wait. And whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit pony. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Finish it. Good boy. Go ahead. I'll round. Can you imagine you do this fast? Yeah. It's very really pretty land unless it's the right end. And when you go gently into your canter again, right, you don't have to hold go. We can get straight. Then just ask it to straight strike up on the right lead canter. It's a gentle ask. So speed forward, go on, walk forward, keep walking. And now strike right down. Go on. Good boy. The pony's still dictated to him. We're going to jump that jump, we're going to go. Mm -hmm. All right, and he didn't really have a lot of say in it, right? So what we're going to do now. We're going to again do something slightly different. Walk, 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 yeah. walk. The dental strike up into canter, over the fence, whoa, do a little circle, strike up into canter. Okay? When you get to that second one, gentle canter. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Good boy, Pata, little Pata. Girl, you're the good boy, sorry. Okay, look up, look up, look up. You're, you're looking down at her. You look up, all right, nice and proud. It's not that you're gonna, you're gonna buy the whole world, but you can afford to, all right? Ride like a king. Okay, get straight, walk forward, and down, strike off, eh? Turn right now. That's it, good boy. The key thing I found whenever you're teaching anybody that's lost a little bit of confidence, is to try and give them targets which they can easily hit. And what I've done there is I've made a set of uh, markers, as it were, and they can use poles or cones. I've used little, uh, little orange and grey markers on the floor. And get the riders to do certain specifics, whether it be walk or trot or indeed canter, turning left and or right, that are very easily attainable. But by doing that, you start to get the horse to listen to the riders. The riders are more confident because they're doing something which they can actually do easily. And what then happens is you start to get this, this uh, relationship building where the horse is listening to the rider and the rider is doing something that the horse is actually able to do. And then the confidence grows from that. And these skills are the sort of things we want in the ring. So it's not as if we're teaching anything that is alien to the ring.